seems like a lot of the electronic scene is starting to use incorporate a lot of instruments into their live acts. Is that something that you've, I mean, thought about doing or? I, I'm going out on a limb here <laughs> and I say I was one of the first guys to do it because we wow. started with a full drum set and um, a keyboard player and me playing guitar. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we played our first show in Germany with Combi Christ and then Andy said, oh, that's a really interesting setup. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I'm not saying he took that idea from right. me, not at all, but <laughs> we, we, we did that way before. Right. Um, and I really hated it a after a while because it was such a hassle. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's annoying for the singer because everything's fucking loud. Mm -hmm. It's annoying for the audience because the front five rows, they only hear drums. Right. I had a really good drummer, um, or like a metal drummer who, who hit really hard and was like fucking loud. It was mm. very annoying. <laughs> He's my best friend still <laughs> for 20 years now. Mm -hmm. And I love him, but he ruined everything <laughs> so I um, when he got too busy with his job and his, his business he said I can't do it anymore I said dude I'm not really unhappy about it right. and um, right now take the laptop out take the keyboard out <laughs> take the microphone out do your thing sound check I don't know if you were here when we sound check it took like yes. seven minutes or something yeah and um, I prefer it like that and right. the funny thing is when we do, were doing the other thing, everyone was complaining that it didn't sound anything like the record. Mm -hmm. we, we liked the fact that it sounded live, right. and nobody liked it. Mm -hmm. And it was annoying, so we don't do it anymore. <laughs> okay. What would you say sets Fader Head apart from, say, I mean, acts like Combi Christ, Grendel, well, Grendel's outside of Germany, but... Well, pff, well com the thing is, uh, Combi Christ and Fader Head get put in one category very often. Really? I don't know why that is. Actually, seriously, <laughs> they're very different sounds. It is, and um, maybe because we both sometimes have a mohawk or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. You know, I, I've known Andy for for a long time because uh -huh. he used to live in Hamburg, where I live. Right. And um, I, I even took photos for the Icon of Coil cover of the last Icon of Coil CD mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So we've known each other for many years, but I don't think we sound alike. And Grendel this is a very different style again, so right. it's kind of what sets me apart. I think what, what what sets me apart is that you never know what you get on a on a, a record, mm -hmm. as in um, it might be a up tempo dance track, then it might be like a really hard techno track, and then a ballad, and then something whatever. Um, and I don't see many people doing that. Right. Very often it's like seven times the same track, and then there's the one opposite style or something mm -hmm. like lower and then you have three times the same again and um, which is fine but I get bored by when I listen to that so I don't do it and I think that's the one thing that I don't really all your albums are different and I don't know they're not that, I, the thing that ties them together is that I sing on them and it kind of <laughs> makes it puts it together but if you take the vocals off I mean it's like fuck what you heard is like a Buster Rhymes inspired <laughs> track and um uh, same with uh, Coke from My Ass or something like that. I do <laughs> cover version of Sexy Back. So it's like whatever comes to mind and fits the situation, I will do. And um, some bands can't do that because their fans will never ever allow themselves to like it. Mm -hmm. Simply because it's not the, the thing, you know? And right. I hope that the people who like my stuff kind of understand the fact that they will have to accept that there's going to be some shit on the record that's not the same as right. what they want. So. And I heard that you used to work as a fashion photographer, and you've done some. I still do that. Still oh, you still yeah, do that. That's, oh, my, that's main, my main job. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that was the question. <laughs> no, I. I uh, you still do a lot of photography and. No, not a lot. The thing is, um, that my daily rate is pretty high, okay. and that allows me to make good money there, working not a lot, and then using the money that I make there and totally throw it into Faderhead, Faderhead and, right. and lose it there again. <laughs> so so it's, that's a great arrangement that uh -huh. kind of I've worked into over four or five years right. and um, but I'm really happy with that. Otherwise that's I wouldn't awesome. be able to do this tour. And the reason why this tour is so short with only two and a half weeks or something mm -hmm. is because I cannot leave the clients in Germany for longer than Okay. My clients will say, fuck you, we, oh, we, we're yeah. going to get someone else, and then what am I going to do? Uh, start, you know, waiting tables again? No, <laughs> not want right. to do that, you know? So uh, so we tour for three weeks, and then I go back, and then we come back in, in October or something like that. So you plan on, like, doing this for a while, doing the photography, and then putting... As long as I can, because it's, it's a fucking easy job. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's not hard. Do Project Sam? Who, who, who are you talking about? Uh, Project Sam yeah, and yes. you guys. Yeah. Um, I mean, have they have they wanted to do any like remixes of your stuff? Nah. Or? They don't really care about remixes either. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not I'm not entitled to speak for them, but right. um, nah. <laughs> it's like, oh, we have to do a remix. Oh, they will ask us, could we do a remix? Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do it by Friday. Okay. <laughs> um, seriously, um, maybe other people say, see it differently, but most musicians I know, they don't really care much about remixes. It's yeah. like, it's a thing you do because it's something to put on an album to extend the length of the album right i mean sometimes you get an ep with 14 remixes on it Yikes. or something like that yeah and 13 will be complete shit just my, my, <laughs> just my and um i don't know they have to ask the sam guys <laughs> i don't think they're really that interested in remixing well that's all we had for you for the very exclusive coma <laughs> music magazine interview <laughs> Yes. And Sign, signing off. <laughs> signing from, off. Uh, Joe Scrotto in Phoenix. Phoenix. Arizona. <laughs>